Hi guys, I've been Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose. Today we're 54 kilometres south of the Perth CBD. We're in a suburb called Warnborough. Now Warnborough is um, built up an area of 13.9 square kilometres and uh, there's 10,970 people over here. And have a look at the coastline over there. What a beautiful coastline. Check that out. We're quite high up over here. We're, we're in the car park over here. But uh, there's ocean as far as the eye can see. Beautiful looking spot out here. So what we might do now, and have a look at this fence over here guys. They're obviously starting some sort of a love um, locket type thing here. Because people are putting it all along the fence over here and along there. There's, there's only a few here at the moment, but you can bet it'll get completely chock a block with these locks. And uh, it's out of arm's way. It's uh, on the ocean, so it's not hurting anyone. And this wire is quite thick over here, so it's not going not gonna to break or anything. So what we might do now, guys, is take you for a bit of a walk around Warnborough. And we'll see you there shortly. Now guys, we, we don't usually start with the schools in the area, we usually have that to last, but there's two high schools here, and this is one over here. This is a Warnborough Lutheran College, and then right next door to it, the other way there, is um, Warnborough Community High School. And there's also one, so two high schools in, in Warnborough, and uh, one primary school. So, um, you know, there are, there are um, over 10,700 residents here, so I guess um, they have to cater for all the, all the kids. So this is just um, one of the main roads over here in Warnborough. I'm just going to take a bit of a walk down here. And um, there it is there, guys. Living Waters Lutheran College. It's quite a decent size uh, school, actually. So notice parts of this area has got underground power and there's a little section here and you can see it across the road there. It's got above ground power. So that might have been the older section. We might just cross over here and walk down there. This is, this is probably the older section over here with the above ground power. This, guard, this house here looks nice. You can see it's an older style house, but they maintain that garden very well over there. Yeah, you, yeah guys, you can see the the, um, the older style houses over here. And we are close to the coast over here. Warnborough is on the ocean. So um, you'll notice a lot of houses uh, with boats parked in the front. And there's one here, right on queue. They've so got um, a boat over here. And I think the house next door has got a boat also. Yeah, there's one there, all undercover. And what we've also noticed, we've noticed um, yeah, those two dogs are a bit <laughs> going off a bit. This house is kept nice and neat. Check this out. Nice gardens. What we've noticed also, there's a lot of uh, caravans. A lot of people have caravans around here. Here's the older style house. I oh, know that one looks that one looks quite modern actually. I don't know if they're still working on it. Hey yeah, mate. So, so the house over there, guys. What we just um, talked about. We were just talking to the owner over there. Um, in 1993, he was telling us he paid eighty thousand dollars for that house. 80,000 Australian dollars. He's just doing a big uh, renovation job over there. He's quite a nice guy, talking to him for about 15 minutes there. 
So um, this is the older part of Warnbury that we're in. It's been confirmed by that guy. And he bought another house down the road. Um, and he paid, um, years later he bought that house, and he paid 165,000 Australian dollars and he sold it for close to 400,000. So um, not a bad profit. He's done okay in, in Warnborough. The family are all from this area, he was saying. And the guy next to him bought, a, bought the block of land where he built his house on, bought the block for 2,000 Australian dollars. So, so that's how, how much prices have gone up in every area over here. So this is just another side street over here guys. Looks like these people here are doing a, a renovation job also on their house. You can see they've done a lot. They put new, new grass in over here in front and, uh, and a brand new driveway. Driveway looks all right actually. Very well laid the paving, very well laid, very level. Now have a look at this house here. This will be one of the original houses. It's a massive block and it's a tiny little house perched on the hill there. But a massive block, it's a corner block. Have a look at that letterbox. <laughs> the trees probably that's probably the tree still in there and uh, they cut it off and whack the letterbox on top now this house here looks nice in front of us check that out that looks pretty good so here we go guys you're quite close to the beach over here uh, that guy we were talking to he said he used to walk his dogs down the beach years ago so quite close, here's a new house going up, yeah. Is it a new one? Or are they doing renovations? No, they're doing renovations, I think, yeah. Yeah, they're doing renovations here, guys. Check this out, they've put a brand new section on the back there. They've just about gutted the whole thing. And um, they've kept the gardens in front there and the path leading up to the house, but everything else is brand new. Here's a nice uh, double story over here. So, a um, bit of history on the suburb here, guys. Uh, the suburb, which is named after Warnborough Sound, was first gazetted on the 5th of April 1974. The suburb also has excellent um, sporting facilities here, including a, a sporting facility called Aqua Jetty. It's a multi-purpose recreation facility with Olympic-sized swimming pools. Wow. And large gymnasium. And uh, Warnborough does have a dog beach. So that's a dedicated dog beach. So if you've got your dogs, take it to the dedicated dog beach. Because that's what, that's what it's there for. Have a look at this house, guys. It needs a coat of paint. Need something, and here's a here's a brand. Oh, I think this house here has also been re yeah this house here has also been renovated. So people are doing a lot of things out here. This this was an old house, an old original house here, and they've renovated the whole thing. They've put in a new path going there. They've got that exposed aggregate right around the whole house. The do front door is brand new. They've rendered everything in front. Um. There are big blocks out here. These blocks are pretty big. So, um, there's also plenty of parks in this area. And uh, there's a lake, a salt lake out here called Lake Wallyungup. It's a huge salt lake, but it is drying out slowly because of the lack of rain we've had here in Perth. No rain at all for months and months and months. So this, this old part of, um, of Warnborough, I see people are taking a lot of pride in their houses here and their gardens because they're keeping it very neat. 
So we thought we'd just take you through the older part because I saw all these above ground power lines here just to show you guys what the older part looks like because we usually take you into the newer part of the areas and the sort of flasher parts but we thought we'd take you through here the older part. Have a look at this house in front of us. That's a nice deep veranda there. Uh, it looks plain but it looks quite neat, very neat. All the, all the lawns mowed nicely. So this older part's not too bad actually. This here is a newer house being, uh, that was built here on the right hand side because um, I've obviously demolished an older house there and built that new one but, but it's a huge block. Where that fence is there, that's part of the block, so it's a huge block. And there's another renovation job happening here. At this house over here, another reno renovation job happening. So you can see um, the, re the reinforcement here on the ground. That's all the Rio they've used at the back there to obviously extend something. So a lot of renovations happening in this older part of Warnborough. Good to see. Good to see all these things happening. Now, um, there's also a tavern in Warnborough, and it's a pretty old tavern. It's called the Warnborough Tavern, but um, the homework I've done on, on the suburb, when I was doing my research, said that it's changed names quite a few times over the years. But um, when I had a look at the, the latest news on it, it's um, gone back to be called the Warnborough Tavern. And it's quite an old place. It looks quite good, actually, inside. Have a look at this peppermint tree here, guys. That's pretty good. I don't mind these peppermint trees. <laughs> I quite like them. They've got a nice pepperminty smell. That's why they call them peppermint trees. So, um, there's a shopping centre out here also. And, um, and it's on Warnborough Sound Road. So they've only got the one shopping centre out here. We'll, we might take you guys there um, to show you where the shopping centre is. We will actually take you there. Um, so we might um, head out there now. We'll see you guys there shortly. Okay, so we're at the Warnborough Shopping Centre. And uh, this shopping centre is called Warnborough Centre. It's a big shopping centre. And it's got quite a lot of shops here, guys. It's got um, Big W, which is a predominantly a um, clothing shop, but a lot of other stuff in there also. It's got a coal supermarket, all your um, grocery items. It's got a Woolworths, all your grocery items again. And um, it's got a lot of other, here's some other specialty shops in the shopping center. And also a lot of takeaway places around. McDonald's etc and it's also got a liquor land over there where you can get your alcohol from which liquor land is part of the Coles group so uh, a decent sized shopping center over here with a big mobile tower over there so you won't um, you'll always get reception on your mobile phone so um, in saying that we'll take you to a different part of um, Warnborough and wrap it up there so guys we just um, walking down a um, side street here in, in um, Warnborough and um, we're going to show you guys the cheapest house in Warnborough that's for sale it's a um, it's a villa But I'll tell you the expensive house before we get to this cheapest one. I'll tell you what the ex most expensive house is. The most expensive house over here is... Um, I don't see any for sale signs here for this cheap one. But the most expensive house over here 
is from 890,000 Australian dollars and it's number 23 Summons Way in Warnborough. But, but guys, it's on a massive block. It's on a 1,027 square metre block. And there's a four bedroom, two bathroom, four car garage. And it's only 600 metres to the beach. So we're looking for this um, cheap one over here. It's, that's, um, that's for sale. There's a lot of uh, all these all these houses, all these places here are villas. That's what a villa looks like. There's a group of them in a complex, and um, you you obviously pay pay um, strata fees and those type of things. Well, some of them charge um, strata fees, and some um, and some don't. So guys, no, unit six, number 53, Morton Crescent, Warnborough. It's a three bedroom, three, uh, one bathroom, one car garage. So um, it's one of the units, it's one of the villas down the back somewhere over here, but it's in, it's in a, quite, a di uh, quite a big complex. You can see there's quite a few villas in there. So you get the gist, guys. It's one of these type of villas here. Just over here. But that's not the actual villa. Because we can't go into that complex because it's private property. So you can't just walk through there. So you get the gist. This is, this is what, what it'll look like. Yeah. And they want um, three, from 390000 Australian dollars. <laughs> and that there is the main road across there. So you'll see the main road just there, but if you bought that villa, there's a bus stop right across there, across that main road. So guys, what I might do now, I might um, give you give you guys the median house price over year in Warnborough, and then wrap it up. So the median house price over year is five hundred and ten thousand Australian dollars, and the median unit price over year in Warnborough is four hundred and ten thousand. Australian dollars, so that villa is going, unit villa, sort of the same thing. That's going for a cheaper price than the median, uh, than the median unit price. And the median land price out here is 240,000 Australian dollars. So, um, in saying that guys, we might just wrap it up over here. Near this tree over here, so get a bit of shade on me. Okay guys, we'll, we'll wrap it up over here. I'll stand just here and wrap it up. And all that traffic, you can see all that main road there. It's, yeah, I wouldn't run over live over there, but anyway. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video on Warnborough in Western Australia. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, do all those sort of things. And um, please don't forget to leave some comments, guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.